Hi everyone, my name is Chi. I'm a PhD student at Harvard University. Hope you are healthy and safe wherever you are. Today I will present to you a compact single shot metal lens depth sensor inspired by eyes of jumping spiders. We introduced this project as a poster with limited results in last year's ICCP. Today I will show you more results and the full publication. My collaborators are from Harvard, UC Berkeley, and National University of Singapore. Depth sensors has been used in many applications nowadays, ranging from gaming to autonomous vehicles. I am developing depth sensor for the super low power platforms such as micro robots compared to the traditional applications. The one that I will present to you today is monocular, low computational power, and has spatially compact optics. It is inspired by the eyes of jumping spiders. You probably already know that Scientists have discovered jumping spiders can use image defocus as cue to perceive depth. Specifically, in its principal eye, it has layered semi-transparent retina. When the jumping spider sees something, it receives several images simultaneously. These images are of different defocus, and the defocus cue is used to extract depth. We took inspiration from this biological structure and tried to resemble it using man-made optics. The optics we chose is metal lens. Metal lens is an ultra-thin optical device that has nanostructure on it. Different shape of the nanostructure will cause different optical resonance to the wave that pass through it. In this example, the nanostructure are cuboids. And as the width of the cuboid changes, the extra phase it adds to the wave is changing almost linearly. By properly arrange these nanostructures, the device can work as a focusing lens for a single wavelength, and a lot more. One advantage of the metal lens is multifunctioning. In our case, for example, we can design a metal lens that can divide the incoming light and focus at two different locations with different focal lengths, so that the device can simultaneously form two images with different defocus of the scene side by side on a photosensor. If we compare our design with the eyes of jumping spiders, both designs generate images with different defocus simultaneously. Currently, our design has a restriction of field of view to avoid overlapping of the two images. But this can be solved by using a polarization sensitive metal lens so that the two images are in different polarization, which can be captured separately using a polarization camera. By processing the defocus images with a fast depth from defocus algorithm we proposed in our previous paper, we built a prototype that can output depth and confidence with 100 frames per second speed using the computational power of a laptop. For the depth map, we use the confidence to crop out parts that are not reliable, thus the depth map is sparse. Quantitatively, the higher the confidence value, the higher depth accuracy is, this, and the sparser the depth map would be. For a confidence value that is used in our experiment, C greater than 0.5, the system could predict depths from 30 to 40 centimeters with about 5% relative error. Here I will show you some depth perception results using real-world objects. Because our sensor takes a single shot to estimate depths, it should be able to work with a fast-moving object. So we tested it using a needle to eject water streams in front of the camera. Here is a video of the depth estimation of the water stream. It is estimating depths on the fly. You can see the depth map of the water stream is recovered on the right. The left two images are the image pair captured simultaneously. Because the sensor is passive, it can use any intensity change in the captured image as depth information. We show in this demo that recovers depths of candle flames. Such non-solid objects won't reflect the active lighting emitted from sensors such as time of flight or structured light. Here is a video. As we are mimicking jumping spiders, we of course would like to also estimate depths of fruit flies. Here we show depth perception of the dead and the live fruit flies. Here are results of more real world scenes. Here we show the depth map of a slanted plane. This is a depth map of fingers of my co-author, Shi. It shows possibility to do hand gesture estimation using such depth sensor. Thanks for listening.